Okay, introducing credits and hero gallery update. Am I getting this right? Reintroducing credits and hero gallery update. Oh my lord. In season 3, we're bringing back Overwatch credits, which had been previously shown as legacy credits and been unearnable in Overwatch 2. Now, all players can earn up to 1,500 credits as free rewards and another 500 credits as premium rewards spread through out season 3 battle pass we are also adding more uses for your credits so you can choose from many potential rewards thank you thank you this is huge news this is huge news you can get stuff in game right now by playing for it instead of like just paying for it which is a good step in a free to play game thank you took a bit too much though let's get the next paragraph Specifically, we're making two related updates to our hero gallery. <sighs> thank you, Lee, for the gifted subs. I'll thank you afterwards, bro. First, nearly all the epic and legendary tier skins prior to Overwatch 2 launch will always be available in the hero gallery for purchase with either Overwatch coins or credits. This includes skins from the seasonal event mode, so now you can finally pick up Witch Mercy, uh, Sexy Torbjorn, or Snowman Wrecking Ball any time of the year without waiting for the event to roll around. Second, we're lowering the standard price of these legendary skins to 1,500 coins or credits. Wait a second. Wait a minute, so, let, let me understand, so almost, almost, all the epic and legendary scans from Overwatch 1 are available to buy with credits that you get for free, right, or by paying for them with Overwatch coins. They bring back skins from seasonal events like Witch Mercy, Surf and Splash, Torbjorn, Snowman, Wrecking Ball, like not all of them, all year round. Without waiting for the event to go around. And secondly, we're lowering the standard price of these legendary skins to 1,500 coins or credits. So you can earn up to 1,500 coins. So if you play, you can get 1.5k coins. I think this is per season maximum. So you can get one legendary skin or epic skin, if you go for the most expensive one that is, from Overwatch 1, just by playing. Without paying. Playing, not paying for rewards. This is good. This is really good. And the fact that they're limiting how much Overwatch 1 skins cost is also a big dub. Instead of making it what it was, 1,900 coins, if I remember correctly, for skins in Overwatch 1 that get sold, that they get like sold, sold, get sold in Overwatch 2. The shop is currently unavailable. Are you kidding me? What? The shop is unavailable? I wanted to check out the shop. Is really good because it was very debatable. What was the value of an Overwatch 1 skin? What was the value of it? And now the value is 1.5k maximum for the best skins in Overwatch 1. Shop is not working. I want to see how many credits I have. Wait, let me, let me see on this account. How many credits do I have? Collectible skins. I have 4,000... 375 in this one. So in theory, I can buy like what? Three? Three skins? On this account. Huh. This is 2k free credits for the old skins only. Many other games don't put a cap on the free currency. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Let's keep on getting, keep on getting, keep on getting. Taken together, these changes mean that all players can earn a legendary skin of their choice each season from the Hero Gallery skins just for playing normally and without needing to make any purchases. Now, this is not optimal. I would definitely like more free rewards, but this is, I hope, a beginning and not a solution to the whole discussion of how they monetize the game. I hope that this is a beginning of suggestion to see how players are embracing this change. We understand that some players already have a very large balances of credits. 
To ensure that all players feel rewarded for the time they spend playing, we're looking into additional ways for the players to use credits in the future. This means, from what I understand, additional ways, if you talk about skins, more than just skins. Okay. These changes aren't the end of our journey to make Overwatch 2 a more rewarding game to play. They're just the beginning. We have more updates coming in future seasons, and we'll be getting your feedback to understand what's working and what isn't for all of you. This is exciting news, and I really hope that this is the first step from Blizzard to into like making the game more rewarding to play it for free instead of paying to play it. This is okay. I would personally, <clears throat> I know, I know, I know. I would personally want this to be the value of two skins. So 3,000 credits, I think would be amazing. I think it would be amazing, 3,000 credits. Maybe they can give credits. Oh my God. What if they give credits if you play the limited time events? Oh my God, that would be amazing. Huh. What if you play, they, they could have like so many potential, so much potential for this. You know, give credits if you play. So much potential. Hey. I'm Olaf. If you enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe. Meow.